Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and I was thinking about it and let's just jump into this. So, alright, let's talk about what in the world this stuff is called and we'll just jump into it. Alright, now I'm going to tell you the two things these are called. Dunder or double underscore. So, we're at num right now. This is the uh, iter object. And um, and what this does is, here, let's look at x. And let me just call this. So you're like, well, that's just an integer. Well, but look at all these things. So basically, and this took me a while, this is you, you, you might have heard magic methods, uh, mystical methods, but basically, and uh, two videos ago, I talked about next. Next, so this, this is the way that it took me to wrap my head around. These are, let's say, let's call them explicit methods, where you call them. These are methods that the that the built-in functions work upon. So, anybody recognize that? Absolute value. So let's change this to um, minus three, right? And it has this absolute value method, right? So let me just show you. Let's just call this, call help on it. Look at all this stuff. So let's come up here. It's going to show us, and it's going to say what it's going to return. Absolute value of self. So it's going to take this, and then all the, all these other methods. Excuse me. These are the methods that allow the functions to operate upon. So if I call the absolute method function on x, it works, right? But if I do name Sam and I run dir on name, anybody see absolute value? So when I call absolute value on name, it fails. So we have, there's multiplication, there's, um, uh, where's it called? Oh, there's, uh, there's uh, init. Initiate. Uh, where's uh, let's see. Aha, len. Perfect example. Here's len. So len works on name, right? But then x is minus three, right? Okay. Tell me. H i j k l l m. No len. So there is no, when they created the int object, don't want to go there yet, there is no method to calculate len because it's a, it's, it's a number. It has no length. It is, it is information. So this, these are called double underscore. You might hear other people call them dunder, but they double underscore. That's two so let's see, uh, x dot here. So you can see how you'd call it x dot double abs double and close that out. And here this is just for your absolute value. And here are even more methods. So I wanted, I thought this would be a perfect time because we were talking about next and why we couldn't run it on some objects and it would work on others so th this is super super vital information so if you're going through and you can't figure out why maybe a function isn't working and you're expecting it to run dir on it and you'll see why because it probably doesn't have a double underscore method to to support that because now you know how to look it up now you know what these mean now you know why they're there and somebody has already before us done all this work and this is one of the reasons why I just love Python because so many people have put in so many hours but that's 
double underscore methods, what they are, why they are, and what they do. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and most important that notification bell. And if this is something you guys are liking, please hit that like button and please leave any comments, questions, or my absolute favorite, any video requests below and I will jump right on them. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.